Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. This is what it's about. It's about memories, it's about sharing it with the ones you care for. Christy and I, we have a fellowship, we have a kinship, and we have so much fun together. And to be able to share that with her here in Newfoundland on her first moose hunt, there, there's no words to describe it. Welcome this week's The Choice. Hey, this week we're going to head up to Newfoundland. Well, we aren't. Well, I am. Yeah. We're with Christy. Yeah. With my girlfriend, Christy, from Realtree. She's going to join me. We're going to go up to Bob Efforts, Efforts Hunting, and we're going to hunt moose and caribou. I'm going to stay back, do laundry, the dishes, mop the floors, you know. You don't do any of that. Fold the sheets. Don't even. We have a lot to show you, though, so we're just going to get rolling. You don't do any of that. I do it all. He does not do it's any. Like, he look doesn't. It. I'm blistered. Don't my listen. Blistered. Don't listen. Well, we're in St. John's, Newfoundland, going moose hunting, caribou hunting. Christy Barnes from Real Tree is going to come with me. Ralph's at home. He's been sick, so who else am I going to call? Let's make it a girl's trip. She's inside getting her bag, so let's go surprise her. So I flew into St. John's and Vicki met me at the airport and the excitement really set in then because that was, then it was real. So she was there, I was there, and we were going to go on this great adventure and little did I know it would be even better than I had thought of. I had really only dreamed about hunting something like this, so I start to try to prepare myself, prepare my mind, prepare my gear, get everything ready. And I certainly didn't want to be falling behind and having Vicki waiting on me. So there I am, like just uh, nerves and all, getting myself ready to be here and be in this terrain. And there's really nothing that can prepare you for that. But it was, uh, it, all, it all worked out. So we're gonna have an adventure today. It's too windy to fly. So, since we're here in St. John's, we're going to go do some sightseeing, if we can, if the wind and the rain doesn't kill us first. And then, and then um, we're going to head to, to the float base camp, but I guess we're going to probably spend the night there because it's just too windy to fly. So. so this was a lot of firsts for me, the first time ever being on a moose hunt, my first time in Canada, so I was really looking forward to just soaking it all in and experiencing everything that, that this trip would have to offer. We went to Signal Hill, which is really kind of a cool thing. It's one of the historical spots in, in St. John's in Newfoundland. And there's some cannons, and I mean, it's right on the ocean front. I mean, it's amazing country here. It is just absolutely beautiful. No matter which direction you look, it's beautiful. Signal Hill, which overlooks the city of St. John's, served as an American coastal defense battery due to its strategic placement overlooking the harbor. Now deemed a National Historic Site, Signal Hill is St. John's most popular landmark, recalling the town's historic past, as well as offering coastal hikes and sweeping views overlooking the Atlantic. It was so windy, it's like flowing 40 knots, and Bob had sent me a text message that said, Vicki, we're not flying you guys out, so just take your time in St. John's. There's no rush to get up to the float base camp because we're not flying out tonight. Well. I think the wind today is blowing that way, I'm just saying. After we did some sightseeing, we loaded up the truck and we headed to the float base camp. There's the bird. All right. So we took our time getting out to Bob's place, the main base camp where the plane would fly from. and. We uh, look at that float plane and I'm like, okay, this is an adventure. I've never been on a float plane, so I was looking forward to that too. I felt like I just had so many things in store the whole trip so far. You are legally a moose hunter. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 
We spent the night there and the next morning we got everything ready to go and we flew out to our first hunt. Thank you very much. I love eggs. From my head down to my legs. Scrambled or fried with family or the guys. I love eggs. <laughs> Don't you love eggs now too? Well, we're loading up and getting ready to head out to camp. The winds have died down a ton since yesterday, huh? So we should be good to go. We'll get everything packed up and head out to camp. Nothing left to load but us, so the excitement is building, and here we go. Day one is coming, and it's so close you can feel it. Up, up, and away, it stays really close to the ground, so for me, I was you know, able to see a lot. As we flew into the camp, we saw a lot of what was to come in the trip, and of course the terrain, and, and just what it was gonna be like from an aerial view. So that was really nice. Hey, hey Dwayne. We're at camp. Are you we excited? Are? Yeah, are you? <laughs> you will yes. She tried to threaten me. <laughs> oh, you're stuck with me. Oh, no, 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 you're stuck with me. <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna head out. We just had a quick lunch. We're gonna head out with Dwayne into the boat, and then where we're gonna go, we gotta be quiet when we get off the boat, as quiet as we can, because we saw most of the moose that we saw were in timber, so we gotta be quiet when we get out and go look for them. So, away we go. I've known Christy now for about seven years. She works at Realtree. And this week, it's a girls' hunt in New Finland with Efforts Hunting Adventures. And you never know what's going to happen. It's rough terrain, real rough terrain. You have to be in shape to do it. You have to be in shape to travel. We hike on down, and Dwayne says, Moose. And so immediately we all sink down so that we can kind of check out what's going on. Where is he? How far? Okay, there's freaking flies are in my face. Can you see them? <laughs> yeah, no. Can you? Okay, so I need to go back. And it turns out he's just down over a ridge and in a like a bottom area of the bog. And we can see him very clearly. He's standing right in an opening and I'm like, oh my goodness, I mean, this moose is like, they're, they're so huge, even at that far. I mean, he was over, over 100 yards, almost 200 yards away. And even then, just the size of the body and seeing those huge paddles sticking up off his head was so cool to me. He is 197. 197, so hold it just straight on him. Okay. So he stands and we wait and we wait and we wait and it feels like it's been 20 hours but it's only been about 20 minutes. And he finally is looking and he's looking and we think that he knows something's down there that he's after and he finally turns and gives me a broadside shot. <laughs> you just shot him. <laughs> you just shot him. <laughs> you shot him. <laughs> I am overwhelmed with emotion. I can't believe that it just happened, and I am just beside myself pretty much and I'm shaking and Vicky's trying to hug me, hopefully to like steal my body because I'm I'm so um, just torn up over the fact that I have I've just harvested a moose here in Newfoundland. So very exciting moment for me. Oh my it's gosh. It's only 115 on our first just day. Just really good fortune. Just so you know you're very lucky because <laughs> <I'm> so lucky. <laughs> because it's a birthday. We didn't go out until almost noon. Seriously. 
Who goes on a moose hunt in Newfoundland and shoots a moose within the first 30 minutes of a hunt? Christy, that's it. It made me feel fantastic. It made me feel great just to see someone get on like that. I know she was excited. So when she's happy, we're all happy. Have you ever had one so fast? Not, not that quick, no. No. <laughs> All right, well, let's go down. Yep. Let's go see what we see. Christy has just taken her first moose with Vicky by her side. After some well-deserved celebration, the crew treks nearly 200 yards through the thick, unforgiving terrain to recover the moose. Remember I told you there's this really crappy stuff that we gotta climb through that we don't wanna climb through? Yeah, we found it. Thanks. He's massive. Look at those shots. Oh my gosh. Look at this. You pinned him. He's huge. He is huge. Congratulations. Thank you. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, I want to thank you for taking Ralph's place this week. I want to thank you for asking me to take Ralph's place. And well, you know what? Come here. It, it's a girls' week, and we have a moose and a caribou tag. Yeah, we do, which and, is awesome. And we came up and we said, when we get up here, you get the moose, I get the caribou. And, and whatever shows up first, is that two hunts first, and your hunt lasts for 30 minutes. Yeah, so we got a pretty good chunk of time, don't we? <laughs> for a Canadian moose, your first moose, it was fantastic moose. Like, you got to realize what you're shooting. You're shooting an animal, eight to a t 900, 800 pounds to a thousand pound animal. Yeah. Right, I mean, look at you. a beautiful Newfie bowl. And he's look got at a, this. He's got a busted up antler there. Yeah, which is just so neat. It's unique. It's it very is unique. unique. It is. It is. And look at his ear is all kind of yeah tattered up it from, is. from fighting. He probably got it stuck between something and another antler just kind of yeah. ripped it. Oh, you know that hurt. That's a, yeah, that just had grew hurt. right back. See that? Yeah, it just sealed back up. Yeah. They're tough critters. Yeah. Though. You pinned him. Yeah. At this point, I'm very grateful that I was able to be here with Vicki and, and just our friendship to, to continue to deepen that much more over this adventure. Unbelievable. Bull. Bull. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What can I say? Ralph, you missed out, but I made the most of your tag. You know, it's about memories. That's what the photos are for. It, it's not bragging rights, it's memories. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I so, want I mean, to honor his legacy. That's like, and once you leave him, that's what I'm saying. Once there, you know, it's gone forever. This is what it's about. It's about memories. It's about sharing it with the ones you care for. Christy and I, we have a fellowship. We have a kinship that we just, we're, we just click and we have so much fun together. And to be able to share that with her here in Newfoundland, on her first moose hunt, I can't even, there, there's no words to describe it. Dwayne's amazing, he's a good guy. He is a go-getter. You talk about a go-getter and some work ethic, he's got it. And that makes all the difference when you're out here and you don't know what to expect but he made it as fun and as smooth and seamless as it could be. We're out all day long. We wake up, he's got coffee ready to go. He's already thinking about what we're gonna have for dinner. Y'all, you guys what got, you guys want, want for dinner? You guys want cod for dinner? What do you guys want for dinner? And we get back from all day hunting and he's in there again and cooking again. I mean, that's just, he's an amazing guy. Yeah. He is. This has truly been that much better of an experience because of the outfitter. Yes. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for this day. Thank you for this adventure. Thank you for the friendship and the fellowship that we have here together. Lord, we can't ask you for anything more that you've given us today. It was just an amazing day. We ask that you still continue to watch over us and watch us and our friends and then our family at home and just keep us safe. And thank you so much for all of your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. to that. Amen. Yes. Good job, Vicky. Thank you. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, she threw my fork on the floor. Oh.
Well, Christy shot a moose yesterday. And now, we're having coffee. And it's cold and it's frosty outside. And hot coffee's gonna be delicious. And Christy lost her hair clip. I got it. Oh, you found it? Oh, thanks. Look at that. You're so lucky. Coffee looks really hot. Or is it just because it's cold in here? Cold in here? Just like your peanut butter. When you're making that, you gotta get it all the way to the edge. You got every bite should taste the same. There you go. <laughs> that is how you do toast. Well, we've got Christy's moose to bone. <laughs> and um, we got some of it out last night. We had to come finish the rest of it up, so we've all got packs full of moose meat to get out of here. We left half of our gear, rifle, big camera, everything else is at that top of that ridge. We're gonna get this stuff up, see if we can all handle it. From the ridge down, isn't bad to the boat. Well, except we're going through that marshy swamp bouncy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we got the moose. Yeah. It is, um, just packed up. We took out some yesterday, we're done. We're yeah. gonna go hike up that hill through that nastiness. See if we can just get through Die the halfway trees. up there. I know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Drag ourselves through the tree. Away we go. There After we you, go. boss. Okay, we got the moose logged out on a Wednesday morning. Everything's all back to camp. Ah! <laughs> Too little. <laughs> I got a piece just, off of Yeah, me. but just watch your leg, okay? Because when you come down like that, you just don't, you know, I knew we were gonna have fun and laughing on this trip, but I don't know, sometimes I just, look at her. Seriously, look at her. Hey, Dwayne, come look at my nice pile of wood I'm making. What are you doing, just pulling? We don't chop your legs off first. I know, I'm, I'm standing here waiting to call 911. <laughs> I got first aid kit. From the sat phone. We don't have that What? I got first aid kit. <laughs> so do I have band-aids. Hang around, I might need it. Be careful. Not a good place to cut yourself. Due to Christy's wood chopping skills, Dwayne is becoming fearful of a cold night ahead. So he fires up a chainsaw to produce a higher volume of wood. Newfie dinner. A Newfie dinner. Yeah, they call this what they call it. Newfie dinner. Jig's dinner. Ralph, just so you know, because you always feel like you're the one that gets picked on all the time, Christy has taken your place. I miss you, Ralph. The Did you hear one. that? <laughs> Dwayne misses you, Ralph. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah. Poor Dwayne. Trying Dwayne. to figure out why he sent like us no, here. No one to fight with. <laughs> no one to fight with. We're too sweet. We're too sweet, eh? Yeah, you're too sweet to fight with. Too sweet if I would, yeah? We can't play with ladies. Yeah. Ralph, what were you thinking? Next time you better show up or you're not coming back. We miss you. That looks delicious. One of the things here is that with Dwayne as our guide, I'm telling you what, you are not going to go hungry. Meat and taters. Meat and taters. Ooh, look at that. Looks good. Okay, if there's one thing I know, yeah. when any of us yes. go to Bob Efforts at Newfie, moose are hitting the ground. Moose are gonna hit the ground, and we had so much fun. I mean, it was the first day in Christie, and she oh, had that to girl sit don't over waste that no time. bowl forever, though. I mean, we sat there, and her legs are cramping up, and she's waiting and waiting and waiting, and finally, he stepped out where she needed to take that shot, and she did it. I got to give you credit. I mean, you guys, I think you coached her. You were helping her. It, you know what? It was so much fun. I mean, we just, we laughed so much. And Dwayne, I mean, we just had a great time. And now, next week, we actually have part two where I'm going to go woodland caribou hunting. Why, I'm still 
washing the dishes, mopping he the He doesn't floor, wash dishes. Probably going to Windex the windows. Yeah, I mean. He, no, yeah. he doesn't. You should know better than that. He just doesn't. We want to thank Vacuum. you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week.